Winnie the Pooh lived in this enchanted forest under the name of Sanders, which means he had the name over the door in gold letters, <laughs> and he lived under it. Now, when Pooh heard his Pooh-Coo clock, he knew it was time for something, but he was a bear of very little brain. So when he thought, he thought in the most thoughtful way he could think. Never thought of anything of you. No, neither have I. Think, think, think. Oh, yes. Time for my stoutness exercise. Up, down, up. When I up, down, touch the ground, it puts me in the mood. Up, down, touch the ground, in the mood for food. I am stout round, and I have found speaking poundage wise. I improve my appetite when I exercise. Oh, stuff and fluff. That's better. Thank you. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yes. I'm rumbly in my tumbly. Time for something sweet. I am surely fat and proud of that, and so with all my might. I up, down, up, down to my appetite's delight. While I up, down, touch the ground, I think of things to chew. Oh, like honey and milk and chocolate. With a hefty, happy appetite, I'm a hefty, happy poo. <laughs> With a hefty, happy appetite, he's a hefty, happy poo. Oh, bother. Empty again. Only the sticky part is left. That buzzing noise means something. And the only reason for making a buzzing noise that I know of is because you're a, a bee. And the only reason for being a bee is to make honey. And the only reason for making honey is so I can eat it. <laughs>